An unanticipated quick takeover of Afghanistan by the Taliban has set the alarm bells ringing around the world. Tens of thousands of people have tried to flee the country to escape the hardline Islamist rule expected under the Taliban. A refugee crisis is beginning to unravel. Many civilians have come in support of the Northern Alliance and former Vice President Amrullah Saleh, who has challenged the Taliban. A civil war is beginning to pick up pace. The visuals coming out from Afghanistan are painful to say the least. This has firmly put the focus on the correctness of the American decision to pull out. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. should reconsider leaving Afghanistan. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The U.S. has always spoken up for human rights, irrespective of which party is in power. The Taliban has announced a general amnesty for government workers and is publicly encouraging citizens to carry on as normal. But their history of brutality and emerging reports of Taliban actions indicate that the life in Afghanistan will be treacherous for the general public. The Taliban has stepped up their search for people who worked for NATO forces or the previous Afghan government. Reports indicate that militants have been going door-to-door -to, -door to find targets and threaten their family members. Witnesses have described the Taliban attacking women and children with whips, ropes, sticks, and rifles near the airport. The doors of the Afghanistan National Institute of Music in Kabul are closed. The young students, teachers, and faculty of the music school are staying home they have reason to be afraid. According to founder and director of the school, Ahmed Sarmast, armed people entered the school property recently. In this situation, for the U.S. to keep mum is almost untenable. There are several countries that are counting on the U.S. for diplomatic and military support. Recently, the Biden administration warned China that any attack on the Philippines would draw a U.S. response under a mutual defense treaty. A clear statement was released by Secretary of State Antony Blinken ahead of the fifth anniversary of an international tribunal's ruling in favor of the Philippines against China's maritime claims around the Spratly Islands and neighboring reefs and shoals. It stated that an armed attack on Philippine armed forces, public vessels, or aircrafts in the South China Sea would invoke U.S. mutual defense commitments. A similar situation prevails in case of Japan and Taiwan, too. A U.S. retreat will unnerve these nations regarding U.S. assurance, and this has long-term geopolitical implications that would be detrimental to American interests. The Taliban had sheltered al-Qaeda, which plotted the 9-11 attacks against the United States. As a consequence, the U.S.-led coalition invaded Afghanistan in 2001 with the goal of destroying the extremist group. While al-Qaeda has been substantially weakened since 2001 and the Taliban has committed to preventing it from attacking the United States and its allies, al-Qaeda fighters have remained in Afghanistan and have hailed the Taliban takeover. Experts say the Taliban maintains ties to al-Qaeda. 
there are also other groups, like the Haqqani Network and the Islamic State, which have their presence in Afghanistan. Left unopposed, these groups will slowly regain their strength, and it's not hard to imagine that in a few years they would again try to carry out acts of terrorism across the world, including the US. China is looking forward to expanding its sphere of influence. The strategic position of Afghanistan has presented it with an excellent opening, and it's getting ready to step into and fill the void left by the US. While Beijing has yet to formally recognize the Taliban as Afghanistan's new government, China issued a statement saying that it respects the right of the Afghan people to independently determine their own destiny and will develop friendly and cooperative relations with Afghanistan. The message here is evident. Beijing has few qualms about fostering a closer relationship with the Taliban. It's actually preparing to play a major role and formulating to assert itself as the most influential outside player in Afghanistan. This has major strategic implications. Apart from this, there are other aspects too. Afghanistan has rare earth elements such as lanthanum, cerium, neodymium, gold, silver, zinc, mercury, and lithium, which are used in everything from electronics to aircraft. China will try to exploit these resources, dominate the market globally, and will possibly block supplies to the US. The United States is currently the sole superpower. It has the resources to have a presence in Afghanistan indefinitely. Leaving Afghanistan in the hands of the Taliban will give a feeling that it's unwilling to do the right thing when the going gets tough. This retreat will impact its position on the world stage and greatly reduce its influence in the coming days. Rivals will be invigorated and allies will be confused. Military takeovers like in Crimea would be more likely in the coming days. The scenario could prove difficult to manage, and a strategic shift in the global order could commence. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.